These gross vibro cedars are only for renting to hyper narcissists to roll around Hollywood, Florida, and smoking fake Cubans. Same joke, but it's for their girlfriends. Told ya. Classic Lincoln Continental or whatever. Ford had nothing at the New York Auto Show in 2022, so they just went all in on, remember when? Lincoln Corsair, I'll see you in the ghetto in 15 years. You just know there's a pop star or an influencer in the back seat, sandwiched between two bodyguards, ready to beeline for the hotel entrance to avoid reporters asking him to clarify what he meant by all property should be owned by the state. I look like I have money. Because I have money. Jeep Gladiator, the official car of main character syndrome. Hey man, is everything okay at home? Camaro. For a sentient collection of pube trimmings who loves crop dusting couples on their first date. The Ford Explorer of Midtown. The LeBaron Convertible of Midtown. The Kia Sorento of Midtown. I like my cars like I like my books. Non-friction! They're just going around in circles. Are we sure this isn't Tesla? Toyota Rhombus. It's like they just tossed wheels on Lumpy Space Princess. Yeah, when you're done with that micro palette, I need you to come over here and try a macro. Toyota Rhombus. I always wanted to drive a dental dam. What if Minority Report, but fat? Any more polygons and this is gonna fry my graphics card. This is perfect for taking a nap after doing too much drunken dizzy bat at the tailgate. This is for overlanding all the way to Owings Mills, Maryland. Looks like it just rolled out of the metaverse. Hey doc, just fill my cavity and trim your nose hair. I mean, it looks fine, I guess, but this is... Why do cars these days all look like they're going to disinherit you for asking to live with mom? Hey Steph, if self-sabotage were a car... Yo, race my 7 Series. Hey, wanna race my X5? Why is this Ford Fiesta looking at me like that? You got a problem, Goldeen? Nice pump and dump there. It has the face of a 135 pound boy toy who just realized I'm not paying his rent. For Irish Americans to role play as Italian Americans. Hey man, don't put me in the flying ambulance unless you're gonna airlift me somewhere with free health care. Come on, sit down and imagine you're driving a car with the questionable build quality of an Amazon Fire TV remote. I don't even know what this is and I want it. It's the automotive equivalent of the new girl at school. Dodge Ram. Sponsored by the three food groups. Protein, vegetable, and sauce! Karma Chameleon. Your business comes and goes. <laughs> Are you mad at me? You look like you're mad at me. Okay, Mr. Deus, who is your manufacturer? I don't know. Yeah, when you're done saving the world, uh, answer your Uber app, because I'm standing here at Arrivals. Why would you pose it this way? To suggest off-roading? I mean, I mean, it's a Lexus. This is for White Wine Wendy, or some corporate fat cat with a small dick and a big suit who can only say, put it in the pipeline! The best-selling sub is whoever says ouch and means it. Team USA RAV4. Okay, this is the actual car of main character syndrome. Nice BMW. 
I'll totally be at the party. Oh, bring some girls? Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just pile them all into my Supra. $68,000 and no wireless Apple CarPlay. Electric bus. If you're worried about an electric car running you over because you can't hear it coming, fear not. Now you can get run over by something even bigger. Electric street sweeper. Now you can drive a municipally owned Roomba. All right, I want this one. Ooh, ooh I want this one. Uh, oh, that, uh, ooh, oh, there, ooh, give me that one. Oh, I want to look at that one. No, no, I want to drive that one. Give me that one. I want that, I want it. I want it. Look at them. I, I just want them. I, I want all of them. Just give them to me. I, I, I want them. Jeep Grand Cherokee. The official car of, bro, I'm just stating facts. Bought by industrial landowners who saw Ford v Ferrari and now they're paying whatever they have to to buy a personality. Somewhere there's a son just waiting for his sister to bring home her college roommate so he can show off the Mustang and make things awkward for spring semester. Attention thrill junkies! Worried your Nissan Altima will shrivel on the track like freshly shitted underwear? Well keep worrying! Subaru WRX Approved by four out of five YouTube zip tie mechanics. I want a suburban, but it doesn't back the blue enough. Uh, that tribal tat looks infected. Jeep Wrangler. Sponsored by patchouli and fretless bass guitars. I roleplay as Columbo. I dress up as Columbo and bust. I wish Columbo was real. We could drive our car here. We could drive our car here. Now we could drive our car here. 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 Oh, we could drive our car here. We could drive our car here. So yeah, it's true. This is pretty much going to be our last New York International Auto Show. And the reason is mostly because there weren't a lot of automakers there. And the ones that were there, it didn't really feel like they were bringing their best stuff. There wasn't a whole lot there that we hadn't already seen a million times before. And, you know, it costs money to travel places and to go see stuff, even when you're getting in on a press pass. Now, obviously, this it's not like this is going to be our last car show ever, but I will say that we're probably just going to stay local for now, you know, local car shows and car stuff when that starts up again in the spring. But yeah, hopefully you guys have really enjoyed these, and if not, maybe we'll get you with one of the next ones, but... I mean, I personally, me, Nick, Roman, uh, can't fully rule out ever going to a New York auto show again, but for now, it just seems like a very dicey prospect, just because I can't imagine anything enthusing me enough to want to go. So, um, I guess we'll see what the future holds, but for now, that is a wrap on us at the New York auto show. So, hopefully you've enjoyed it, and have a great week, everyone.